I'm Scott L. Miller. It is the 8th of May, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Nicaragua. And today we're going to be doing a little bit something different. Some friends of ours had moved here to Nicaragua. We've meant to do a tour of their house ever since they got it. And we have not had a chance to do so. And they're moving in the morning. Like we managed to film today's episode in the hours before they left. So we're going to do a house tour for you in Colonia Universidad. And we're going to get to that right after the bump. So today we're going to tour this house. It's not very often that we actually get to do a house tour for you guys, so I'm glad that we were able to do this today. Uh, this is a six bedroom, I believe three bath house in Colonia Univers Universidad. So the last few days we've been doing videos in uh, Colonia Universidad. So if you don't know where that is, go watch those last two episodes and get a feel for the area that we're going to do. We did some walk arounds. Actually, it's last several days because we did uh, Parque Ruben Dario, which is on the southwest side of the Colonia. And then I did a walk through the main part of the Colonia. And then we did a walk around of two of the communities within the Colonia uh, in, in San Agustin in uh, Castellón. Uh, and so today, this is a house that is on the, I'm gonna bring up a map right now so you can see where it is while I'm not there. So this is a chain, you don't need to look at me. Uh, so you can see exactly where this house is located because they've already moved out, so I can show it exactly. They moved in five months ago in December, found this house, we helped them find it, uh, and it's been a great house for them. And the real, the piece de resistance of this house is the fact that it has this really nice pool in the backyard and uh, now unfortunately this house is already rented. So I can give you some information. We know that they rented it for the last five months at $500 a month. They also did a ton of upgrades that they ended up uh, leaving with the house. So all the bamboo you're gonna see, they added all that, our friends added that. They were not part of the house when they were renting at $500. They repainted it all, so it's way nicer than it was when they moved in and now the person who rents it is asking for 600. I don't know that he got 600, but I know he has renters. I'm saying it's worth 550 at most. Uh, the upgrades are nice, but they only add so much to a monthly rental. Um, 600 is absurd, especially considering it's on a terrible dirt road, which you're going to see. The location is fantastic in the overall lay of things, but the road it's on is uh, impassable. Even a 4x4 would really struggle to get by on this road, so you have to kind of back up and do It's really awkward, and you'll kind of see that it's, it's basically an alleyway, a dirt alleyway, uh, so that makes it a big negative. But, uh, so they had, had just life things go on and needed to basically pack it all up, get in the car and go. So we're doing this walkthrough as they're doing the last minute pack up of the house. So the house is dirty because it, we had the rainstorm and it brought in all the dust and stuff came in and they're in the midst of packing. So nothing is set up for showing a house, uh, but we really wanted to show this to you to give you a feel for what house values are. And so when you're doing your, your best guess of what you're going to pay for something, you can see how big this is. Um, and they had this partially air conditioned. All the units have been taken out and are already gone at the time of filming. Uh, and uh, it, you're just going to see it as bare as can be with, with, with a mess everywhere. Uh, so we were racing around trying to help them get out the door and they did. They are, as I'm recording this, they are already on the road, should be in Honduras, making their way north again um, because they're returning to work in the States. Uh, so quite a bit of an adventure, but a house that we wanted to show you and it just fit in with everything we've been doing this week. So with no further ado, I'm going to get you to the house. I'm going to switch to recording in the studio because it sounds a little bit better and I can walk through the house with you there. All right, this is the view from across the street in this uh, little like park or just undeveloped spot in front of the house. You can see some nice houses on the side street, but this is a dirt road alleyway. It looks nice and open from this shot, but at some point we're going to see up and down the road. It is not a big open space. It is a walled alley that just happens to have this one nice open space and this one salmon colored house and one directly next to it. It's very limited. Now the sun was getting a little bit low, so I apologize. I shot this with two cameras in the hopes of getting some decent amount of light, uh, but all of it is pretty dark. A lot of houses in Nicaragua are dark in a lot of their portions simply because light means heat. And so 
people tend to keep certain parts of their house dark uh, just to help keep it cool, and that results in difficult to film sometimes. There's Jazzy, everyone say hi. Uh, now you can see the garage here has this big glass door. You can open this up, but keep those metal bars so you have tons of wind coming through the house. If you want to do that, this does open up, and this is a breezeway on the side. Very common in newer construction in Nicaragua to do breezeways on the side because they don't have that big courtyard in the middle anymore. So this is how they accommodate that. This is the dining room kind of area. They made it into an office coming into the kitchen here. So this is the pantry right off the kitchen. We're on a super wide angle, so when I get close to the doorways, it's, it's pretty wonky. This is the super view on the GoPro 11. That is the kitchen. A little tiny island there, little tiny stove. You could put in a bigger stove. They went for a little one. This green room here on the right is another, um, much like the house we saw the other day, a lot of air comes through that. This is one of the bedrooms, not the master. Has a window onto the breezeway and a window onto the main hallway. So you open up that hallway, you open up that green room, is open at the top. Right now it's got plastic over it, but that can be all is expected to be all opened up and wind will just come right through and, and pull from the breezeway and keep the house cool. That's the master on the left. This is bedroom number two on the right. You need a lot of built-in wardrobes, very, very common. Notice windows on two sides, one directly into the hallway and one directly into that outside. We kind of call it a garden room. That was a sneezing dog, sorry. On the right here, Marcella is working on the last minute packing. Just tons to do uh, in this bedroom. This is definitely the, as the third, it is the most minor bedroom, only one window into the main hallway. This is the master, has its own private bath. Notice no bath so far. This is a good amount of space. That's a queen bed just in the middle of the room. Big windows into the hallway, big windows into the breezeway. So it's going to stay pretty cool, but a lot of people would put air conditioning into a master. And then it has its own private bathroom there, which we will show later back into the main hallway and coming outside on the left is a built-in bar that's a full wet bar this is a good size pool all of this bamboo our friends added that was not part of the original house um, it was just a regular brick wall or whatever uh, at the $500 a month that's an outdoor shower that we just went past that little area houses all the pump and everything very nice pool very usable nice outdoor space that alcove is the laundry area you can see it here the Everyone hangs up their laundry here. There was a washer that's been taken away, obviously, because they're moving. This is another bedroom. So this is bedroom number five right here. This one is a secondary master or a, a in-law suite. It's got this decent bathroom outside. So you can be really far away from the rest of the house, but you have your own bathroom and good big windows out into the pool area. This is more like the guest suite is, is how I would often think of it, but it would be an in-law suite is how it would be listed. Uh, and then I don't know if I'm going to get to show everything on every pass. I filmed some of this in the GoPro. There's Thea working in uh, the bodega. This is the last bedroom. This is bedroom number six and nothing special. Very small, just windows onto uh, the pool area. And then this is uh, the bathroom. This is the only public bathroom in the house. So that's one negative. It does have the window above. And then that's the bodega there. Uh, bodega or storeroom, uh, as you would call it in English. Uh, Got some uh, mattresses up against the wall here. The master has that big door there. And uh, we're going to turn around and show some of these rooms again. This was all filmed on the GoPro 11 for those who are interested. Uh, and just before that, we had filmed on the uh, X3. So these shots are now on the Insta360 X3. Uh, and I, it gives a different look and different light. And it was a little bit earlier, so it's a little bit more light. So we get quite a bit of the kitchen here. Uh, and that's going to make uh, give you a much better view of what it's like. You can see that the stove could be much larger. The kitchen has a view out onto kind of an outdoor seating area and patio, which is a nice area. It's, it's something to be used. And I want to look at this breezeway again, or this extra airflow air conditioning. Normally that's wide open and the wind goes across the top of the house and it just creates this pressure and sucks air out of the house, creating natural air conditioning at very cheap. This is the outdoor bar. Wanted to show that again. This pool area is fantastic. It's really why people get this house. When you have a pool, chances are that's going to be your big thing and everything's going to be about the pool. Uh, I also wanted to show these again. Again, we're on the X3. Uh, this is the bathroom and we're going to see the bodega here uh, or just the, the storeroom, right? This is where all the stuff for the pool is stored. It's really important here. We tend to have separate giant closets or bodegas for storing all of our extra stuff. So just look for that. 
This pool is beautiful, and the sky around it, like these big mature trees in Colonia Universidad, is wonderful. You get this great skyline from there. It's decently quiet. There are neighbors all around, so this is not isolated, but it is on a pretty unassuming street, which we're going to show in a minute. Uh, and uh, just having the pool in this neighborhood is a big deal. I wanted to look at this cooling again. If you're not used to Nicaragua, thinking about how cooling is going to happen doesn't always uh, occur the same. This opens up to the front, so all the way out to the street, just straight open air. And you can see the green room over there that also opens at the top and this giant breezeway. So the air just comes from everywhere through and across the house and keeps the airflow moving. So if you want to go without air conditioning, you just want to open it all up. This house is designed to keep you cool that will actually work really well it seems to a lot of people that are not used to it that that won't be that effective especially in a hot place like nicaragua but it actually works extremely well and remember nicaragua is extremely consistent in its temperature so once you adjust to it there's a really good chance that you're going to be just fine without air conditioning at least most of the time there will be days where you feel pretty warm but there will be lots and lots of time where you enjoy it now we're coming back to that bathroom that i didn't get to show you before here it is this is the master bathroom nothing too special but a little bit larger than the other uh, and in a house with only two bathrooms that's a big deal now this is the road it sits on it's a little bit dark here it's a little bit hard to see but that's a, a little bit nicer it's an alley with the greenery but it ends right here and the whole road is this dirt and this is the best part of this alleyway it is just worse dirt in either direction to the point where it's completely impassable uh, this part you can drive on but it's it's not great uh, so this is a huge negative to this house and the one next to it there's just these two with entrances onto this alleyway everything else just backs up to it so that's that's a big factor um, in it being isolated and remote and private all right and that is our walkthrough of this house we're going to be showing more houses in the future as time allows and as we're able to we were really hoping that we were going to be able to show this one and have someone in the uh, viewership decide it was a place that they wanted to go, but it was already rented by the time we got in there. And we've been wanting to, to film this. We keep talking about it week after week. Oh, we'll get in and film it soon. We wanted to wait until they got all the bamboo done. So they actually put in like three months or more getting all of that bamboo stuff done. They barely got it done before it was time to move out. So we were just at the point where we're like, oh yeah, we need to schedule. Yes, we probably pushed it off for a month, but it had already been several months. So it kept being, oh, we'll be there soon. Be there soon and every time we visited was at night or things were going on so i couldn't film or been really awkward to film because you know when you're going to film a house that someone's living in you want to clean it all up and be all ready and everything and uh that just it just didn't end up making sense and they kept being like come over any morning but my mornings are always super busy and can never do that and so i don't know why the dog is always in a potted plant she is so goofy uh but so this was a very last minute filming. We had to race in and do it. And we had planned on doing it yesterday and we'd hoped to do interview uh, and interview with them, but they had so much going on. But we are gonna talk a bit about uh, bringing cars into Nicaragua and, and what that takes and why you probably don't wanna do that and what happened with them and, and all that kind of stuff in an upcoming episode really soon. But until then, like and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Miller link up there if you'd like assistance in moving to nicaragua or getting tours of or finding out more about real estate or whatever email us info at relocate nicaragua.com those things really help support the show and make all this possible share on social media tell your friends stay tuned and i will see all of you tomorrow